Hey, our friends, we're glad you're with us again. We're going to draw another character from Inside Out, right, Hans? Which one are we drawing this time? Joy. All right, little girl, you got your marker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we hope you guys are going to follow along with us. You got something to draw with and some paper in front of you. Hey, how old are you? Six. Yes, you are. You're six now, aren't you? Mm -hmm. So we're going to keep this activity nice and simple, even though it might be a little tricky. The most important thing is... Having fun. Yes, having fun. So remember, if you get a little frustrated, just take a little break, and we'll try and keep it nice and simple, and remember to practice. We can always do this again, huh? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right, you ready to start? Yeah. Okay, we had first little step. We're going to draw her eye, and it's going to be an oval right in the middle of the paper. And it's a pretty good size oval, and this is going to be one of her eyes, okay? Okay. So we draw it right here in the middle. We'll draw a little oval right there. Good job. And then we're going to draw her pupil. And we'll draw a little, we'll draw a little um, upside down U. And then we'll draw another upside down U inside of that. And then we're going to color that one. Okay? okay. We'll fill it in like that. Good job. Awesome. Okay, now we're going to draw her other eye. And we're going to draw it right next to it. Okay, and we're gonna draw another oval. Actually, let's draw a little flat line first. So we're gonna draw a little flat line right here, and then that's gonna be the bottom of her eye because she's kind of got a cheek, doing a little smile. And then we're gonna draw the oval above that, like that. Good job, it's a little eye, I like it. <laughs> okay, then we're gonna draw her her pupil inside of that. So we'll draw an upside down U. Good. And then another one inside of that, kind of like we did on the other side. And we'll color that in. Perfect, Hads. Okay, now let's draw her nose. And that's going to be another upside down U. Kind of a sideways U. Right in between her eyes. Good. Perfect. Just like that. Okay, and then let's draw her smile, and then this is why her cheek is flat right there, because she's got a little smile that comes up off to the side. See how this side, yes, good job. And then this side's a little higher and kind of gets closer to her cheek. And then you could do a little cheek line right there. All right, heads, now let's draw the side of her face, okay? And then we're gonna draw her short hair after. Okay, so we're going to draw right above her eye. We could put a little point right above this eye. Right here? Yes. Good job. And then we're going to draw a big kind of uh, cheek line that comes all the way around like this. And then it's going to come under her mouth and then kind of back up under, under her smile right here. So we're going to come all the way around like this. And then we're going to end right about there. Okay. okay, it's kind of a sideways or diagonal C. Good, and then her chin, and then into her cheek. Good job, you did it. All right, okay, now let's do her hair. She's, she has a little W right here in front of her eyes, and it's kind of curved. So we'll go, we'll do a V, we could do a little V, curved V, and then another one coming back up. Oh, and little eyelashes. I like that. Good job. <laughs> Can you do a little curved W right there? Mm -hmm. Good. And then back up. Good job. All right. Now we're going to come back down and we're going to do the side of her hair. Okay. So we'll do a, a little S line that comes down like that. Down past her smile. Yes. And then you can come a little further below her mouth. Good job. And then we can do a little up. Good. And then a little line that connects into her cheek. Perfect. You did it. Okay. Now let's draw the outside line of her hair. Okay. And we're going to come over here. It's going to be kind of spiky over here. So we're going to start right here below her ear and we'll come up. So we're going to draw the side of her hair. Right here. Yep up and then we'll draw a little down good and then another up and then that's going to go a little higher 
closer to the top of her eye. Good job. And then we're going to come back down. Come back down right here. So a little line right here that comes back down to there. Good job. And then we're going to draw a big curve that goes over the top of her head. And let's keep going. We'll go a little past the W. Good. <laughs> okay, then we're going to do another little spike right here. So we'll come back. A little spike that comes back. There you go. Perfect. And then we're going to do a little S line. Uh, sideways S line. So it's going to come down like that. And then it's going to curl back up over here. So she has a little spike in the back of her head. So we're going to do a little S that comes down and then up to there. Good job, Hads. All right, okay, now let's do a, a few more little spikes right here. So we go down, back up, back down, back up. So it's kind of a W with an extra bump, and then back up. Good job. <laughs> all right, okay, now we're going to do a little S that comes all the way down to the bottom of her head. So here we go. All the way down to there. Good job, you did it. Give me five. Are you having fun? Mm -hmm. You promise? Yes. <laughs> Does it look like joy? Mm -hmm. A little bit. <laughs> it's going to look a lot more like joy once we color her and we get her blue hair and her green dress in there, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's going to look really cute. Okay, so let's keep drawing her body, okay? We're going to draw her neck next, and we'll draw two little lines that come out of her head. Good. And then let's draw, we'll draw a little U right here. And then this is going to be for her dress, so for her neck. We'll connect those. Good. And then we're going to draw two little lines that come out for her shoulders. Okay. And then this is where we're going to try and make things a little more simple for our young artists. Okay. So now we're going to draw her dress. So we're going to come down from this shoulder line and we're going to come down and do a little S line. Okay. And that's for her dress. So we'll go out and then back in and then back out. <laughs> Good job, heads. Okay, now we're going to draw the other side of her dress too. So we're going to come down on this side and then we're going to come out and back down. Okay, and then you could just come straight down from there. Good job. Kind of when we put all those little bumps in there, sometimes that makes it hard, huh? So for our art friends at home, if they want to make it a little more simple, they could just make these lines straight down if they want. Okay, let's draw the bottom of her dress. We could do a little wavy line that connects the bottom of her dress. Good job. That's pretty. It's kind of like your dress, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, heads, let's do her arms next, okay? Okay. All right, okay, now we're going to draw a little line that comes out. And then her arm is going to tuck back in to her um, hips, into her waist, because she's got her hands on her waist. Okay, so we draw a little sideways V like that. So start up here where her shoulder is, right there. Come out to like right there, and then you can come back in to maybe where her waist is. There you go. You want to start up where that shoulder is. And back in. Good. And then let's come in and we'll draw the other side of her arm right here. So we're going to come to her elbow. Good. Keep going all the way to her elbow right about in there. Good job. Okay. And then we're going to come back down and then into her hand like that. And you're going to have a little bump at the end for her hand. Good, you did it. All right, now let's draw this arm on this side, okay? So we're going to do the same thing. We'll come out, and we kind of want to come out to the same distance, and then we'll come back down for her arm into her hip. So we'll start up at the top, yep, and go out, and then back in. Perfect. And then let's draw the other side of her arm. So we'll go into her elbow. Good. And then we're going to do the same thing. We'll come down here into her 
into her hip. So we'll draw a line that comes down and then a little bump at the end for her hand. Good job, she looks awesome. All right, heads, let's draw her little waist in there and we can draw a little line straight across from her hands. Her waist, good. And then let's draw her legs in there too. We're gonna draw a line straight down out of her dress for her first leg. And then let's draw another line that comes close to, see how it comes close together down at the bottom. Good. And then let's draw this line a little further down so it's a little longer than the other one. Good. And then we're going to draw her foot. So we can come out and then back in. Good. And then back in to the bottom of her foot. We did it. Okay, now let's draw the other foot. We're going to draw another lay another line that comes out over on this side. Good. And then we'll draw another line right next to it that kind of comes close together too. Good. And then on this one, we'll do the same thing. This line's going to come a little bit longer. Good. And then we want, and then we'll draw this foot coming out and then back in. All right, and then we can, you can draw the foot and just draw a little V, a sideways V right here that connects this line, comes out to that point right there, and then back in. There you go, and then back in for a foot. You did it. Hads, give me five. You did an awesome job. Did you have fun? Mm -hmm. She looks super cute. You did a great job. We have one last thing we're going to do on her dress. That's the design, but we're going to color that with our blue oil pastels, okay? Okay. So let's get our colors all picked out and we'll finish coloring her, okay? Okay. Okay, Hads, we got our colors all picked out. We got a lot of colors, don't we? We have a bunch of uh, peach colors that we're going to use for her skin tones. So we have a pale vermilion and that we're going to use for her, for her lips. And then we got a salmon pink we're going to use for shading. And then we also got a pale orange, and that's going to be for the main color of her skin. And then we got green for her dress. Look at that. We got two color greens, and we got pale green. And we also have this darker green, yellow green, that we're going to use for some of the shading. And then we have two blues. We have a light blue and a dark blue. The light blue is called pale blue, and the dark blue is called cobalt blue. And that's if our art friends have the same uh, oil pastel set that we have. We have the, oil, the Pentel oil pastels. The 50 set, and we'll leave a link in the description of this video so our art friends can buy that on Amazon. Cool? Cool. All right, you ready to color? Yes. Okay, first step, we're gonna color her skin tones, okay? So we're gonna get the very light, light peach that we have, or this uh, pale orange, mm -hmm. that color, yeah. And we forgot to get this darker color for you. Let's get that. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna color her whole body, her face, her neck, her arms, and her legs with this color, and we'll fast forward, okay? Okay. You ready? Let's do it, right? right Neo. <laughs> all right, heads, now we got our all colored in. We're gonna use this darker uh, peach color or salmon pink, and we're gonna use this to shade the side of her head, okay? So we're gonna put a layer that goes around her cheeks and under her chin, and then we'll come back up and we can go around her hair too, and do a little shadow under her hair. Sound like fun? Mm -hmm. All right, and then we can do a little shadow too under her neck. And then I'm gonna do a little shadow that goes under her arm. And if we go too fast, what can our friends do? Pause the video. Yes, you guys can always pause the video and then uh, catch up and then start the video back up. Then I'm also going to come down here and do a little shadow on her legs and right under her dress. There we go. All right, then we'll fast forward, okay? Okay. Good job, Hads. Okay, now we're gonna get our pale vermilion and this is our darkest kind of pink peach color and we can put little lip color on her, we color her lips in. Good job. Okay, now let's do her hair. So we're gonna get our light blue or our pale blue and we're gonna color in all of her hair. Okay, heads, and then we're also gonna color in her eyes, so around her pupils with that light blue. 
Then we're going to get our dark blue. And we can color in on the side with our with our dark blue or our cobalt blue. We can color in just the corners of her eyes so that it looks a little darker towards the edges. There we go. Okay, now we're going to shade her hair. This is going to be really cool. So we're going to come down here on the side of her hair and we're going to do a layer of this dark blue and we're going to do it really light. Okay, we don't want to press too hard. And then we're going to come back up into, into the, the big part of her hair. And then we're also going to come down here and do the same on this side. So see, we'll start down here at the bottom. And then as we get towards the top, we can get really light. Good job, Katie. We're going to keep going. So we'll do a little, we can do some more kind of like lines. We'll just do little hair lines that go through her hair so that it kind of looks like she's got some texture on her in her hair. Awesome. Good job, Haz. Now we can get our light blue again and we can go back over it and kind of smooth out some of that texture and then it will blend it and make it look even softer. All right, good job, heads. Kate, now let's do her dress. So we're gonna get our light green, and this is also called pale green, and we're gonna color in the whole dress, okay? All right, heads, let's get our dark green, and now we're gonna shade her dress just a little bit. We can do a light layer of this green, and this is called yellow green, and we can go down the left side of her dress. See that, with just a light layer. And then we can go down on the right side of her dress with a light layer also. And this is going to make her dress look more 3D, huh? Mm-hmm. Good. Okay, now let's get our light or pale green again. And then we can go back over that layer and smooth out the dark green. We did it. Okay, now the last step is she's got a really pretty design on her dress. And we're going to use our pale blue. And we're going to draw a little, it's kind of like a sunburst. So we just draw little lines that burst, almost like a firework, that go around in a circle on our dress. And then we do a couple of those. Okay, so we can jump down here and do another starburst or sunburst and just do a bunch of spikes in a circle. You got it? Is that fun? That's kind of a cool little design, huh? Hads, good job, Joy. You did such a good job. Did you have fun? Yes. You promise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing Joy with us. Remember, if your drawings don't look just like ours, it's okay because the most important thing is to have fun. Yes, is to have fun. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye. You did such a good job. Goodbye. Boom.